Our first patient presents with upper abdominal pain and jaundice and received a biphasic CT with late arterial phase and portal venous phases to evaluate for a potential pancreas mass. In many cases when evaluating for pancreas adenocarcinoma, the primary tumor can be somewhat difficult to identify, such as in this case where there's a generalized hazy appearance of the pancreas head, an unsinate process, and only maybe some subtle areas of low attenuation here compared to some areas that are enhancing a little bit more. More importantly for raising our suspicion of tumor is the impact that area is having on the ducts. So here are the intrapatic bile ducts which are dilated and we can follow the common bile duct down here to the ampulla where it rapidly tapers and similarly we can follow this mildly dilated pancreas duct to that same area. Let's take a look at coronal where we can appreciate the ductal anatomy again. Here's the common bile duct tapering at the level of the pancreas head where there's that ill-defined strandy soft tissue appearance and also the pancreas duct. This is the double duct sign and is a highly concerning sign for pancreas adenocarcinoma which was confirmed in this case.